Good morning. Welcome to the Breakfast Biscuit. It's Thursday, almost Friday. It's Thursday, September 21st, 2023 at 6.05 a.m. And this morning, we look at a message from God's Word, Daniel chapter 5, verse 17, that is very, very powerful and needs to be reestablished among believers. And that phrase is, keep it. Just keep it. So, here's the, here's the verse. Daniel answered the king, keep your gifts or give them to someone else but I will tell you what the writing means. One more time. Keep your gifts or give them to someone else, but I will tell you what the writing means. So here's the story. Belshazzar, king of Babylon, followed Nebuchadnezzar as king of Babylon. He learned nothing from the God's humiliation of Nebuchadnezzar. Nebuchadnezzar got too big for his britches. That's uh, the original Hebrew and God humbled Nebuchadnezzar in his arrogance by causing him to lose his mind and live in the wild and eat grass like a cow until his hair was like feathers and his nails were like talons until he acknowledged that God gives kingdoms and takes them away and is sovereign over all. That's what happened to Nebuchadnezzar. And Belshazzar knew about it, but he learned nothing from it. Belshazzar, to say the least, was arrogant like unto the order of Nebuchadnezzar before God humbled him. And he was having a bash, a big party, a uh, free-for-all, if you will. And he called for the cups, golden cups and golden goblets from the temple in Jerusalem to be brought to his big bash party and used them in the worship of his pagan gods in his drunken estate. While this was going on, a hand just a hand, not the rest of the being, just a hand appeared in the midst of everyone at Belshazzar's bash and the hand wrote on the wall. It stopped the party to say the least. The king, Mr. Bad Boy, turns white, his knees shake and his voice quakes and he has to know what it means. Doesn't understand the three words written on the wall. Has no idea what to do about it. And all his people failed him. Money was what he tried to use to motivate the enchanters, the wise men, the astrologers, to tell him what the three words meant. Finally, someone mentioned Daniel. And Belshazzar calls for Daniel and made him the following offer. Interpret what has happened here and I'll give you a purple robe and a gold chain and give you the third place of honor in the kingdom. Well, to a pagan astrologer, enchanter, wise man, that was a big deal. To Daniel, not so much. And I praise God for the history in the scripture and the history after scripture of men who did not bow to money, but stayed faithful to the Lord. Daniel told Belshazzar to keep it. It wasn't about the money. It was wanting to see God vindicated after Belshazzar had treated the holy things of the temple like his own personal effects in the worship of his pagan gods. The purple robe, the gold chain, and the third place in the kingdom mean nothing when the kingdom won't last through the night. So Daniel told Belshazzar what the three words meant. Number one, numbered. That means your days, Belshazzar, have been numbered. The second word was weighed, W-E-I-G-H-E-D. You have been weighed in the balance and found wanting. Word number three was divided. The kingdom will be ripped from your hands tonight and given to another. Daniel didn't want the money, but Daniel, unlike Belshazzar, survived the night. And the Persians who took over and took the kingdom away from Belshazzar the Persians under Cyrus would ultimately let the people return to Jerusalem. It's a whole lot to be learned there. And to quote the words of Jesus Christ, let he who has ears to hear, hear. Let me pray for you. Father, we love you. We thank you for the example of Daniel in the midst of iniquity of inconceivable proportion. Father, we pray that we never take the things of God lightly. We pray that money, purple robes, gold chains would never mean more to us than you. 
Father, help us to see what happens to people in arrogance who set themselves up as alternatives to you and help us to note wisely what happens to those who are faithful and who have the ability, the spiritual tenacity to say, keep your money, your gold chain, and your purple robe. I serve the Lord. Lord, we pray that we'd be faithful to you through it all. And we ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. So, may the Lord bless you and keep you and cause his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. And may the Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace. And remember, as always, I love you. I'm praying for you. And I'll see you right back here, bright and early tomorrow morning. God bless you.